Is this a light color? And how dark is that one? You may have asked yourself these questions before, but sometimes the answer doesn't seem all that clear. If only there was some form of measurement to quantify this information, leaving pretty much all the guesswork out of it. Well, guess what? There is. Today we're going to talk about the LRV scale and what it means exactly. If you're a fan of this channel, then you've already heard us talk about it before. But if you're new or you need a bit of a refresher on what LRV really means, class is in session. I'm James from thepaintpeople.com and welcome to Paint School. This is our introductory series all about the fundamentals of painting and decorating. Previously, we've gone through the different qualities of paint, finishes, we've talked about color testers, and so much more. If you've seen our series Color Code, we will always make sure to comment on the colors LRV. And this handy little acronym stands for Light Reflectance Value. It's a term that's not just used to describe paint, but it's also used in architecture and graphic design. Now we're going to talk about numbers here, so this is probably the most aptly named paint school episode yet, so bear with us. LRV is a measure of visible and usable light that is reflected from a surface when illuminated by a light source, and it's represented by a numerical scale from 0 to 100. The lower the number, the darker the color will appear. The higher the number, the lighter and brighter it'll be. It can also be explained as the percentage of light that gets reflected off of it. Now, why is this important? Well, I can share a very popular scenario that answers this very question. Imagine you picked a color at the paint store or even online, and then you bought a can of it and painted your room, only to realize the color looks way darker than it did when you first saw it on the color swatch. Perhaps if you knew the LRV beforehand, it would have provided you with some context on how light it actually is, rather than how it appears on a small sample. The light reflectance value is a way to take some of the guesswork out of color selection. Instead of purely relying on your eyes or maybe comparing one color to another, knowing what the LRV is gives you a more objective way to determine how light or dark the color will be in actuality. Let me go over some colors and give you their corresponding LRVs just so you're aware of the context here. Now let's start with the color that never goes out of fashion, Benjamin Moore's Black. With an LRV of 2.48, it's extremely low, which is no surprise, but it still reflects a tiny bit of light. Dior Grey has an LRV of 20.7. It's comparatively brighter, but still firmly is in the dark colored category. Most colors with an LRV of 40 or below will be pretty dark as they'll absorb more than half the light that's hitting it. Now, once you start getting into Coventry Grey territory with its LRV of 48.35, you're now dealing with mid-tone colors. Revere Pewter is another example around 55. I like to interpret the mid-tone grouping of colors sitting anywhere between 40 and 60 LRV. An LRV of 60 and above, those are your light colors. If you take a look at the Off-White collection by Benjamin Moore, for example, you're likely to see a whole lot of LRVs above 60, even though not many of them actually look white, like Collingwood, for example. It's often labeled as an Off-White, but its LRV is only around 62, which just barely puts it in the light color category. If you were picking it to brighten up your space, you may be better off with something with an even higher LRV like China White. Now, if you just wanted a really bright white, then Chantilly Lace would probably be your best bet at 92.2. But really, it's easy to get lost in all these numbers. And if that sounds like a good time to you, then you can find the LRV of most paint colors on their respective websites. Just try doing a Google search and see if there's a section about the color's details, and there you'll have the LRV. Knowing how to interpret the light reflectance value shouldn't be the deciding factor about finalizing your color selection, but what it can do is provide you with additional information to add to your arsenal. It's one more thing that can help you make an informed decision. That being said, nothing really beats testing the color itself on the walls in the space. We go into some more details on color testers right over here. And if you think you're ready to pick one up for yourself, you can check our link down below. Smash like for us because the team at The Paint People love positive affirmation. Class is dismissed. See you on the next one.